Hey, Lieutenant, shouldn't you be contacting Bravo? They might want to know what's happened here. <clears throat> Hang on, kid. I think I lost a few pints of blood here. Raiden, Campbell here. What's your status? SEAL Team Alpha are all dead, Colonel. Except for one survivor. A Lieutenant Iroquois Pliskin. And the President? Dead Cell got him back. Damn. This is bad. What about the other SEAL team? Can't they help find him? No. Bravo is tied up disarming the C4 Dead Cell placed all over Big Shell. Which just leaves you, Raiden. You have to secure the President and the package he's carrying with him. Got it. Maybe this Pliskin guy might be able to help me find him. All right. But I want you to exercise extreme discretion. No one can know Foxhound is involved. Uh, sure, no problem. Riding out. So who was that blood-sucking freak that kicked our collective ass? Him. That was Vamp. The way he moved didn't seem human. He's a card-carrying member of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Special Forces anti-terrorist unit created by ex-president George Sears. They were good at what they did. Some would say the best. But around the time their original commander died, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but without proper leadership they became more and more extreme. They began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Vamp is a real mystery. He's Romanian and a wizard with knives. He joined Dead Cell because he had close relationships with Fortune and her deceased father, Marine Commander Scott Dolph. No one knows the source of his powers, or how he cheats death time and time again. But obviously, he's very dangerous, not to be underestimated, as we've seen firsthand. Fortune is Helen Adolf Jackson, also known as Lady Luck. <laughs> Ironic name for someone surrounded by so much tragedy. She lost her entire family to various catastrophes, and blames herself for all of them. Mm, or, more likely, she blames her freakish luck. She seems to have some sort of uncontrollable psychic ability that makes her immune to harm, but at the same time, seems to curse those close to her. Personally, I don't buy any of it but she apparently believes it to the point that it's really screwed with her head, giving her some kind of death wish. Dead Cell's original commander, Reginald Jackson, was her husband. She took control of the unit soon after his suicide and her father's murder. That man. Now, this guy is certifiable. He actually calls himself the Emperor of Explosives, just so you understand what kind of whacked out ego trip we're dealing with here. He's so obsessed about being known as the best, he'll kill anyone he perceives as a threat to his reputation. Fat Man is a genius, no question, but he's also paranoid, narcissistic, and sadistic, which, for an explosives expert, makes for one hell of a dangerous and unpredictable adversary. In fact, there's been long-standing debate as to whether he's even sane at all anymore. Okay, that's quite a collection of disturbed freaks you have there. So why would Dead Cell hijack Big Shell? What's their angle? How should I know? Like I said, they're way out on the lunatic fringe. Well, how about the leader? I mean, they say he's, uh, um, well, from what I've heard, the leader might actually be... Who? 
Solid Snake? That's bull. Snake died in the tanker incident. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. How do you not know any of this? So let me get this straight, Junior. An organization that no longer exists sends you to rescue all the hostages on Big Shell and, in the process, neutralize a veteran, highly trained terrorist organization and the Russian private army working for them. All this on your very first mission by yourself, without even having been briefed on the most basic intel. Uh, doesn't make any sense. What are you really doing here? Alpha! Anyone! Come in, Alpha! This is Bravo Zero! We are under fire on the BC connecting bridge! Damn! She can't be hit! Alpha, come in! Aren't you going to answer him? Cover Stellman! Lay down suppressive fire! Ah! Well? Look, kid. Time is short and my options are limited. So I really don't have any choice but to trust you for the time being. Bravo was escorting a bomb expert, one Peter Stillman, to disarm all the C4 placed by Fat Man all over Big Shell. Uh, obviously, that plan is FUBAR. I'd go myself, but I need some time to recuperate. I lost too much blood. So, it's on you now. You have to get to Stillman quickly, move him safely out of the firefight so he can do his job. What about the president? I have orders. Kid, if that C4 blows, you, me, the president, all of Manhattan, everyone dies. Everyone but me. Same old story. Can't anyone break this curse and release me? Must I endure yet another day of misery? Mr. Stillman, sir. I don't think we can protect you for much longer. What should I do? On my mark, you run for the Strut C dining hall while I cover you. Hide in the kitchen, and we'll try to rendezvous with you there. Here, take my sidearm. But I'm no soldier. What do I do if... Just shut up and listen to me, sir. You have a job to do, and one way or another, you're going to do it even if that means all of our lives. Get me? Yes. Good. Now get ready. Stillman, go! Die, damn you! Die! I wish you're the lucky ones today. So very lucky. Don't move. Oh, he's up there, partner. Are you Peter Stillman? Who are you? The name's Raiden. I'm here to protect you, Mr. Stillman. To ensure that you disarm Fat Man's explosives. Thank God. That woman. She was unstoppable. I'm not sure if... Raiden. It's Pliskin. Hold on a sec, sir. What is it, Pliskin? I've found some of Fat Man's C4. Is Stillman with you? Affirmative. Safe and sound. Good. I'm going to need him to talk me through disarming these bombs. Based off what I've seen, there's way too much C4 on Big Shell for just one man to- Philistine! How dare you sully my craftsmanship with your grubby, grubby hands! Fat Man! Pliskin, what's happening? Nothing, kid. Just some trash that needs taking out. Nuh-uh! I really wouldn't do that if I were you. So, a Mexican standoff, is that it? Ooh! A Mexican standoff! Either one of us makes a move, we both die. I like the sound of that. On three, shall we say? And a one. And a two. Oh no. And a... You crazy son of a bitch! Three! <laughs> 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 
Squishkin! That was Fat Man's work. I'm sure of it. Look, Raiden, is it? I trained Fat Man. I know his tendencies inside and out. We need to... Shh. I hear something. Someone's coming. Uh-oh. Oh my god. We're trapped in here. Damn. Not good. I know you're in here, murderer. Show yourself and finish me like you finished off my father. Otherwise, you'll be the one to die. You can't hide forever, bastard. You'll die for what you've done to me. What the hell did you say to her? That chick is pissed. N nothing. She wasn't like this earlier when she massacred the seals. She looked calm, bored even. It must be you she's mad at. How? I don't remember ever meeting her. Of course, that's not to say I never did. There's a lot I don't remember from my past. Yeah. So what do we do? The only thing we can do. I cover, you make a run for it, okay? Oh, man! Run? Again? You got a better idea? Stillman, get your ass in gear! Finally. I was beginning to wonder. Wait. You're not the man I'm looking for. Aw, oh, baby, you're hurting my feelings. Uh. And here I thought we had something between us. Idiot! Fool! Uh. Moron! Uh. Don't you get it? I'm untouchable! No one can hurt me. I can't even hurt me. Lady, I think you've been hurting yourself for a long, long time, whether you realize it or not. Granted, I can't touch you, but I sure as hell can touch your gun. How dare you? Murderer or not, I'll kill you for that. Okay. I think she's really mad at me now. Batman, respond! Uh-oh, it's the king. And his voice doth bear an angry tenor. And how fares your royal majesty? Thy humble sight of- Silence, you fool! I want an explanation for that C4 detonation. You were told specifically to sit back and wait for my orders before doing anything. Are you so demented now as to throw away everything we've accomplished over the last few years? Now, now, hold on, let's not get crazy here. <laughs> that was just a taste, an oil doy, if you will, meant to be served before the main course. What are you talking about, you maniac? The C4 was only meant to be a diversion, a ruse. I've no intention of blowing up this facility. Your intentions? Your intentions? Why does everything have to be about what you want? What about me? What about my needs? My former mentor, Peter Stillman, just arrived here on Big Ship. And I need to kill him. Stillman must be made to see that I have now surpassed him. That my prowess is far beyond his inferior skills. He'll be impressed. Oh, yes, I dare say. He'll be blown away. <laughs> blown away. <laughs> That's good! <laughs> I should write that one down! If you want diversions and ruses, your majesty, then you hired the wrong man. I deal in destruction. Fatman! You traitorous bastard! I knew you'd understand. Fare thee well, king. Ciao. Sayonara. Auf Wiedersehen. 
do. Ha! Ain't I a stinker? Ooh. Oh, it's you. You haven't come to spoil my fun too, have you? On the contrary, my friend. We find your actions to be quite suitable for our purposes. For now. So long as they don't interfere with your orders. We want you to engage the primary. The rookie agent known as Ryder. We want you to test him. Test him, eh? To what limit? The full extent. No hesitation. No holding back. Kill him. Because if you don't, your life is most assuredly forfeit. You! Uh, Colonel, Rose. Oh, mommy. Hello. Any tactical advice here would be greatly appreciated. Oh, I'm getting my ass royally kicked right now. Shut up! Oh. That's it. Pick up your gun. Finish me off. I want you to. Queen, we have a problem. Vamp, what is it? It's Batman. He's gone rogue. He intends to blow big shell. Sky. Sky! No! Vamp! Dryden, get your ass out of there. Something's come up. You don't have to tell me twice. What's up, Colonel? I'm afraid our priorities have switched. The President will have to wait. Rose? We received a transmission from one of the dead cell terrorists known as Fat Man. He splintered off from the Sons of Liberty, and he's threatened to blow up Big Shell. Unless... Unless what? Unless you meet him immediately on the Strut E heliport. You have five minutes. But why me? What does he want? Honestly, I have no idea. Is he surrendering? Looking for amnesty? Well, if he is, he won't get it. Four minutes, 37 seconds. You need to get a move on. Raiden, please be careful. Oh, no. No. That death was meant for me. Why? Why am I the only one who can't die? Daddy, please. I'm so sorry. How much longer do I have to endure this? Haven't I been through enough? There's no need to cry, my queen. I died once already. I can't die twice. I stare at the stars and the sky up above and think, what am I made of? Am I full of sorrow? Am I hurt and pain? Yeah.
Bye. 